UFC lightweight division bout. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up for us. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Oh, now he's in trouble. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Clip with the right hand. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, is that what a fight so far? A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Round two here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, collar tie. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finishes. Oh, he's got the over-under. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, man. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. And this might just be a matter of time. shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year.